then let me say let me see i'm just reading thanks my good sir chris cato says do you have a mentorship program you know chris um not yet i mean i, I have a full-time i have a full-time job um what i've been doing is every what i do is when people sign up on convocourses.com and they buy one of the you know if you bought how to do the resume and how to market it and stuff or if you or if you're into risk management framework like no one's about to buy that i would work with you directly uh, but as far as a mentor program no i don't i don't have one of those just yet and i just i gotta figure out how i would even implement that and then where i would find the time to do something like that i'm not there yet it's something i will maybe do one day but not probably for the iso stuff too I got a lot of things planned for the risk management framework ISO, um, ISO program. And um, for if you're in the UK, then that's the equivalent of like um, ISO 27000, I think was what you guys call it. Is an international, EU has an international standard that's the equivalent of what we have here. It's called NIST 800. And basically, it's like a framework to to minimize the risk to your network uh, or to your enterprise. Sim it's very it's very very similar, you know. And it's just, it basically is best practices for your whole organization and how you meet those, and um, who are the players in it, and how you inter involve them, and and stuff like that. No one says, "May I suggest developing a comprehensive intermediate level course?" DoD RMF. A and A using Stig Viewer, SCAP, EMAS, Vulnerability Scanner, EMAS package. So I'm doing something kind of like that. Um, the the request I'm getting no one is if you're interested. Um, I'm developing right now. This one right here is is what it is. Is it's a it's a I'm building off of Risk Management Framework ISO foundations. That's this one right here. And I'm doing one that focuses on the security control families where I'll go into the stick viewer and all that kind of stuff. But really the focus is on is going to be on creating the focus is is on creating documentation that serves as a as evidence. So that's that's really the focus of it. And um, because I just get a lot of people asking about it. And um, I'm wanting to give people information on what, how you do it. Because it's something I, this is, I mean, it's my main, it's what I've been doing for 20 years. So, yeah. So that's, that's what the next one's going to be about. I'm developing it right now. You know, if I, if I wasn't filming this, if we weren't talking right now, I'd be working on that right now. And then I've got another one where it talks about the CAP, ISC2 CAP certification. That is... I forgot how hard it was to do certification training. It's it's so involved that it's gonna take me a few months to do it. It's it's so ridiculously deep that uh, it's got tests. It's got it's gonna have video, of course. It's gonna have downloadables. It's just there's so much information. And the thing, the funny thing about those certifications is like sixty percent of it you'll never you won't use, but it's for the certification. So. It's with with the risk management framework foundations one it just gets straight to the point it just says here's what you need to know here's how you do some of this stuff here's the mentality here's how you cover your ass here like here's how it works in this organization here's some of the terms you need to know it just gets straight to the point and tells you exactly what you need that's it i don't go into all the abstract bs because that's for certification type stuff and so that's what i'm also doing for the security control families is i'm gonna break down I'm gonna say here's the security control family. Here's AC, uh, AC one through five. Here's here's what it says in uh, the NIST 800. Here's the interpretation of it. Here's how you implement it. And I'm gonna do that with each one of the control families in the NIST 853. So that's when I'm gonna release that one uh, part of it. End of this month, I'll release it for free portion of it for free and then the next month after that i'll release the first premium version of it so be watching out for that